In this video, we're briefly going to talk about z-scores. So the z-score of x is equal to z equals, and we can use sample notation or population notation. Let's use sample. So you take your x, you subtract the mean, and then you divide by the standard deviation. Okay. So that's the formula for the z-score of x. And this is the number of standard deviations that x is above or below the mean. So this is the number of standard deviations, I'll put SDs, that x is above or below the mean. So if your z-score is 2, your x value is 2 standard deviations above the mean. And I'll explain that in a little while with, with some numbers that will make a little more sense, hopefully. A couple remarks about the z-score. Uh, the first remark is already written down. So it is the number of standard deviations that x is above or below the mean. Two, if you have a positive z-score, so if you have a positive z-score, then, well, then your x value is above the mean, so you're above, above the mean. If you have a negative z-score, then your x value is below the mean. And three, if you have a z-score that's, uh, if your z is bigger than two or less than negative two, then x is unusual. So z-scores bigger than two or smaller than negative two are considered unusual. Anything between negative two and two um, is is okay. Okay, anything between those two numbers uh, is okay. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I will do uh, an example. That's it.